Hello people, in the last video we start off, started off with the classification of rheumatoid drugs, correct? So we saw basically <clears throat> anti-rheumatoid drugs we started off with, we saw what rheumatoid arthritis is and in the classification we saw that the first choice is actually NCID, then in uh, some little severe cases they will add these DAMARDs, DAMARDs actually um, they are also called as SARDs, S-A-A-R-D-S that is slow acting anti-rheumatoid drugs because these take uh, weeks to act, right? That's why. Now, in these, uh, you have two types, non-biological agents and biological agents. In that, we want to look at um, the non-biological agent that is methotrexate. Actually, methotrexate is not just an anti-rheumatoid drug. It is also a anti-cancer drug. It's an immunosuppressant. So we should know more about this uh, methotrexate. In all ways, we should understand it. Where in all we have seen it? We have seen in treatment of rheumatoid arthritis in anti-cancer in cancer drugs. We have seen, we have seen it as an immunosuppressant. So basically what it is, it is an immunosuppressant, right? What exactly it is, you know, it is a folate antagonist, right? It is a folate antagonist. It's a cytotoxic drug, so many names it has. It's a DMARD of first choice. The first choice DMARD can be given for juvenile rheumatoid arthritis also. What exactly it does? It is a dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor. That only we saw it is a folate antagonist. It is a dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor. DH, what do you say? DHF is it? Dehydrofolate reductase inhibitor. So remember the reduction of this uh, dihydrofolate, right, that will be inhibited. Now look at this diagram here. So basically dihydrofolate becomes tetrahydrofolate, right. Now this is a dihydrofolate reductase. Now this will be inhibited. So now basically earlier what was happening, this dihydrofolate was becoming tetrahydrofolate and NADPH was becoming, becoming NADP. Now if there is no this, then what will be more? NADPH will be more? What do you say? NADPH will become more, right? Okay, that's what it looks like. So, let's move on. So, this is a methotrexate, is a dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor. So, what happens? It is an immunosuppressant. It is anti-inflammatory. It has anti-inflammatory property. It is, uh, they, they are just putting some probability here. Probably related to inhibition of cytokine production, hemotaxis and cell-mediated immune reaction that is nothing but anti-inflammatory right so anti-inflammatory probably it is related to some reduction in cytokine production chemotaxis everything will be reduced that's what they are saying guys so basically what you understood here wake up if you are sleeping methotrexate we have looked at methotrexate basically it is a folate antagonist this is the main thing, it is folate antagonist, whether it is anti-cancer or whether it is immunosuppressant, whether it is in rheumatoid arthritis treatment, whatever, wherever it is, finally what is it? It is a folate antagonist, it is a dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor, it is a dihydrofolate, uh, dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor. So it is going to be cytotoxic also, they are saying in the anti-cancer, in cancer therapy they will call it a cytotoxic. Then, it is a immunosuppressant, it is used for treating rheumatoid arthritis, it is a demand of choice, that is disease modifying anti-rheumatoid drug of choice. So it can be given in juvenile rheumatoid arthritis also, that's all. This methotrexate is also called as anti-proliferative, remember it is also called as anti-proliferative drug. Now let us see, first of all, in, uh, let us go one by one, okay. Now let us see in uh, metho trixate in rheumatoid arthritis how you will what and all you should know it is basically the demand of first choice disease modifying anti-rheumatoid uh, drug of first choice it can be given in juvenile rheumatoid arthritis also basically it is given as a tablet okay so it is given as a tablet now what else you should know here it's oral availability right oral availability of methotrexate is variable it is ex, uh, its excretion is in uh, is hindered if there is renal disease. So if there is renal disease, you should not give methotrexate. Standard stuff only. This is. So uh, what are the adverse effects? Oral ulceration, GI upset, right? 
adverse effects here will be oral ulceration, GI upset. Similarly, you're giving as it is a GI, you're giving it orally, so obviously. Then in low, if you give prolonged therapy, then what will happen? It will lead to prolonged therapy. It will lead to liver damage. Okay. Then cirrhosis, etc. Incidence of chest infection also increase. It is contraindicated in pregnancy. Methotrexate. Contraindicated in pregnancy. Okay. Everything else also. So many contraindications are there. If you want you can know them. If there is liver disease. Renal disease. Obviously here already told no. In renal disease don't give. Same stuff only. Then. In breastfeeding also don't give. Pregnancy don't give means breastfeeding also don't give. Then. If there is peptic ulcer, don't give. Obviously, now it is doing GI upset, oral ulceration. So, in peptic, obviously, this is very common. In peptic ulcers, don't give. Then, if there is any active infection, no, you should not give. Why? Because it is immunosuppressant. If there is active infection, if there is leukopenia, you should not give. Obviously, right? If the WBCs are less, then you go on suppressing even more than what will happen. So, methotrixate, we are done with rheumatoid arthritis. Let us see what they have given about methotrixate in the anti-cancer uh, chapter. Okay. It's the oldest, oldest and, and highly efficacious, highly efficacious anti-cancer drug or anti-neoplastic drug. Okay. How does it work? It inhibits the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme that is that already you know inhibits dihydrofolate reductase enzyme. So it blocks the conversion of dihydrofolic acid into tetrahydrofolic acid. So utilizing the folate carrier, uh, it enters into cells and it trans it is transformed into more active polyglutamate form. So it is actually becoming oh it enters cells. And it becomes active polyglutamate form. More active polyglutamate form. Okay. So it enters the cells. And this methotrixate becomes. More active polyglutamate form. Okay. This. Uh, so now what happens? There is no tetrahydrofolate. Right. Now if there is no tetrahydrofolate. Which is an essential coenzyme required for one can one carbon transfer reaction so no one carbon transfer reaction so there is no de novo purine synthesis de novo purine synthesis right and amino acid interconversions cannot happen right no tetrahydrofolate no one carbon transfer reaction no de novo purine synthesis so no Amino acid interconversions. So it is going to kill the cells in S phase of mitosis. Remember. So here it is a cell uh, cycle specific cytotoxic agent. It is. See all this now. It inhibits this enzyme, this conversion, all this. These are all very common information about methotrexate. So let's go back here and put it in the common information about methotrexate. Okay. So no tetrahydrofolate will be there, no one carbon metabolism, no purine synthesis, no amino acid interconversion. So what happens? The cell cannot make these purines and all means what? How will it survive? So the cell is killed in S phase. So it is a cell cycle specific agent. Okay. <clears throat> and here they are adding information in addition to uh, dihydrofolate reductase, it inhibits thiamine dilate synthesis as well. So it is not only just this uh, DH FRase inhibitor, they are saying it also inhibits it also inhibits thymidyl synthase. It also inhibits this thymidyl synthase. Okay. So DNA synthesis is primarily affected. So what happens? DNA synthesis is affected. 
affected. DNA synthesis is affected, RNA synthesis also affected and proteins also affected. Okay, because of thymidine, they are saying DNA is affected. Why thymidine is there in uh, uh, DNA, right? That's why. That's why they are saying DNA synthesis is primarily affected. Why say? Because thymidine is there in DNA. So then what happens? It is toxic on bone marrow. It has major toxicity on bone marrow. So it can lead to megaloblastic anemia. This we can make it as an adverse drug reaction, right? It also produces pancytopenia. That means all types of anemias like WBC is less, RBC is less, platelets less. That will become pancytopenia. Then it produces diarrhea, mucositosis, mucositis. That is uh, inflammation of the mucus gland, mucus uh, layer, mucosal layer. Desquamation and bleeding may occur in GIT. So again, same thing they are telling here. It is... Uh, GI side effects are there. GI side effects are there, guys. Diarrhea, mucositis, bleeding of GIT, etc. can occur. Okay. Methotrexate, again, here they are giving orally. Right? It is, uh, they are saying it is oral. Let's take that picture here. Here also they are saying it is oral. So it is absorbed orally. Look at this. They are tablets. They are absorbed orally. They are plasma bound, they are metabolized a little, they are excreted unchanged in urine. Little ex um, metabolism happens, okay, they are given orally. 50% is plasma bound, this is strange, no? everything little, little in this. 15% is plasma bound, little metabolized and excreted in urine. Mostly excreted unchanged in urine. Because it is very little metabolized. Then what else? This methotrexate toxicity, right? Very important. Methotrexate toxicity. Guys, wake up if you are sleeping. Okay. This methotrexate toxicity is very, very common. Okay. So, I mean, it is very uh, important. You should know it. Basically, all the drugs, what they do, most of them, they displace this methotrexate from the protein binding site and they increase the toxicity of this. So who and all are going to displace methotrexate uh, from their uh, from its place? Salicylates, sulfonamides, etc. Okay. Salicylates, sulfonamides, they they displace uh, methotrexate from its protein binding site. They displace MTX, they call it as MTX from protein binding site. Okay. Then Aspirin also increases methotrexate. Uh, aspirin also increases the methotrexate uh, toxicity because you know what? It decreases its renal tubular secretion. Aspirin decreases the renal tubular secretion of methotrexate. So, who and all are the bad people here? Salicylates. Sulfonamides, aspirin, what they do? They increase. Now, if um, GFR was filtering methotrexate nicely and taking it out, aspirin says, hey, don't take methotrexate. Don't take methotrexate out. Aspirin will come and say, no, no, no to this. So, aspirin will help the increase the toxicity of methotrexate in the body. What do sal now, uh, methotrexate is there more in our body. What the um, salicylates and sulfonamides do? They say methotrexate should not go and bind to proteins, you know. All proteins, we only will take. Methotrexate should not take the protein. So, methotrexate poison, methotrexate value will go on becoming so much in the body and there will be methotrexate toxicity. Now, folinic acid you should give to this person. If this person has methotrexate toxic, what you should give? Folinic acid. That is N5 formyl tetrahydrofolate acid they should give. Sit Citrovorum factor. I've heard this somewhere, you know. Citrovorum factor. The citrovorum factor you should give. This will reverse the effects. Thymidine also you can give. Thymidine also you can give. Thymidine also counteracts uh, the 
toxicity. Now you know what? Let's put the adverse drug reactions of methotrexate in a new slide. So methotrexate, adverse drug reactions, toxicity, how to counter the toxicity also we are telling you. Folinic acid. How do you treat the methotrexate toxicity? Give folinic acid and thymidine. How many people understood? Don't give folic acid. Give folinic acid. If you give folic, folic acid, it will not help. Don't give folic acid. Should I write it here? Don't give folic acid. Guys, don't give folic acid. <clears throat> you should give folinic acid. Very good. So we are kind of done with methotrexate. What do you say? Some points here and there we have to keep adding. Actually in anti-cancer, they are saying it is very effective, curative, curative in choriocarcinoma. Choriocarcinoma, something to do with placenta, right? Choriocarcinoma. Then what else we should learn about this? Hold on. It is good even in uh, non-Hodgkin, not curative, but they have written here. It is used in treating non Hodgkin lymphoma, breast, bladder, head and neck cancers. Okay, so it is used in all the types of cancers. Guys, shall we do one thing and go and look at uh, one more use of this methotrexate? See, methotrexate, we saw where and all it is used, right? It is used in three things. Rheumatoid arthritis, cancer and immunosuppressant. We saw in rheumatoid arthritis what it does. What it does in rheumatoid arthritis, it's a DMARD of first choice. It can be given in juvenile arthritis, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. It is anti-inflammatory. All the cytokines releasing etc. it will stop, <clears throat> right? So it is immunosuppressant also. Same thing, right? Should we combine uh, RA and immunosuppressant? Same thing. Anti-cancer drug we saw. Oldest, highly efficacious, it is curative in choriocarcinoma. It's oldest drug they are saying, that's nice. Highly efficacious it is. It kills the cells in S phase, so it is cell cycle specific. DNA synthesis is affected. Uh, it is 50% metabol uh, plasma bound, little metabolized. Excreted almost, you know, mostly excreted unchanged in urine. The toxicity of methotrexate, you should know who are in all increasing the toxicity of methotrexate. These drugs, salicylates. As salicylate and aspirin are same, no. Achha, okay, so aspirin decreases the renal tubular secretion also maybe. And they displace it from the protein binding site. What is aspirin guys? Just uh, check in Google. Let's open Google. I'm sure it is uh, something to do with... Uh, something to do with... <clears throat> Aspirin is what? Acetyl salicylic acid only. Na? Then why they are putting separately? Huh? Salicylate is nothing but aspirin only, right? So it displaces uh, methotrexate from protein binding site. It decreases the renal tubular secretion. So both ways it is increasing toxicity of methotrexate. So to treat the methotrexate toxicity, you can give folinic acid and uh, thymidine. Okay. Okay, next video we will look at azathioprine. Okay, come back for the next video where we are looking at azathioprine. For now, uh, it's a bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed methotrexate video. Ta-ta.